Hello everybody, this is Max with A1 Website Pro and today we're going to be talking about your permalinks and your uh, on your WordPress blog in particular. So if you notice, if, if you go to one of my blog posts, you'll see that, you know, I just have uh, what we call, you know, uh, a mechanical URL with um, my blog, my, my website name, and then just the post name, okay? But what if you are an inspiring writer and you've written beautiful articles for years and years that are just timeless and so here's an article here hangover cures top five of all time and I'm sure that uh, you know uh, maybe many people watching this have been here a time or two but you click on it and you see that it was written in 2014 September 19th and that's part of the URL structure but this is a timeless article uh, you know, a hundred years from now, you'll be able to use these hangover cures for your, uh, you know, the morning after. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to make this timeless. But just imagine all of the websites that are out there that are linking to this wonderful article to tell show people how to cure a hangover if you change this permalink structure up here and you take this date out and everything like that what's going to happen to the to them what's going to happen when you take out the date and then uh, you change your URL to something like that they're going to get 404 errors it's going to be something that they're not going to be able to uh, you know deal with uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can uh, have these hangover, you know, redirect these people properly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your dashboard. Okay. And when you go to your dashboard, come clear down to where it says settings. Okay. And then we want to go over here to where it says permalinks. All right. Now, <clears throat> this 2014, we, we want to just use post name. Okay, we're going to change our permalink structure to just the post name. Alright, so there's another step that we have to take care of. And we're, <clears throat> we're going to use uh, our good buddy, um, Yoast. Uh, he's, uh, he's helped a lot of people with their uh, uh, WordPress and search engine optimization. But this is the link in, in my blog article. So the URL of the site, okay, that's what you want first, whether it's an HTTP or HTTPS or it has the www. Now you'll notice MaximusMcCullough.com does not have the www in front of it, it just has HTTP. Okay, I'm going to take off that final slash. Now, if my blog was in a, uh, a, a different um, folder, you know, I would just put something like this. But um, operating straight from... Um, it's this. This is the root uh, on on the root part of my website, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, now my old permalink structure had the the year, the month, and the day, and the post name in it like this. So I'm going to select this option right here, and then I'm going to hit generate redirect. So this is my magic code. Okay, this is my magic code now that I'm going to put in my HT access file. Okay, now you have to be on Apache server, running PHP and Apache to do this, but most of you are anyway, if you're running WordPress. Okay, so now you're like, oh my god, uh, how am I going to put this into my HT access file? Well, there's a nice little plugin. Now, you, if you have FileZilla, you can use FileZilla, but there's a nice little plugin. It's called, hold on, let me get it for you here. I think it's uh, WP HT Access or some HT Access Editor. There we go. And then I'm going to just get, hit enter just like that. Okay. And here it is installed now by the Kinsey. 52,846 downloads, five star. Got to be good, right? So I'm going to click OK. I've actually checked this in other people's uh, in my website before. So. Oh, I know it's a good plug in there, mighty. All right, so go down here to HT Access, HT Access Editor, and this is going to show us our HT Access file, okay? Now, you'll see I got a lot of good junk in here. Uh, but <clears throat> what we want to do, yours might look a little bit different. We want to put this code that we got from our buddy Yoast, right? Juice DeVolk is his name. 
It is over in the Netherlands. But anyway, we just want to put that in there just like that and click Save File. Okay, now what will happen is the people that come to, that, that have the old URL with the date are going to be redirected to this one without the date. And you're not going to lose any search engine optimization, your rank position, and the people that are looking for this, these wonderful articles are going to be able to come and see them. Okay, this is Maximus McCullough with A1WebsitePro.com. I hope this tutorial have been able to help somebody out there. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please enter them below or visit me at my website, A1WebsitePro.com. Thanks. Bye.